Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel where we focus on using ordinary materials to make beautiful things. Today I am getting started on a project that I plan to do several times. I am making them as Christmas gifts. I know it's early, but I also know that if I don't start early, <laughs> I won't get them done um, because I end up, you know, kind of getting sidetracked. I squirrel and go, oh, that looks fun. And I stop and do something else. And so I know if I want, if I want Christmas gifts, you know, for multiple people that I have to start <laughs> in August pretty much. So it may seem early, but I do want to show you what I'm, what I'm going to do this year. Um, I, I want to give several of my friends the same thing, but I want to individualize it and personalize it. So rather than building an entire journal from scratch, an entire junk journal from scratch, um, multiple times over, which as you know, takes some time, uh, to put it all together and decorate it all and that kind of stuff. I am going to use some books and things like that and alter them uh, to create something for my friends. And so this is kind of the beginning of that process. Uh, and I'm going to kind of keep you updated. I'm going to show you as I go on, on at least one of them. And maybe as I finish the other ones, I'll, you know, kind of do a flip through of all of them together. So my thought is I wanted to create a life balance journal. Um, it seems to me that our lives are <clears throat> crazy these days, um, that we all, you know, run around and there's so much to do and we don't take time sometimes to do the things that we want to do, the things that would make us feel better as humans. Um, so in order to kind of encourage my, my friends uh, and family members and to keep that balance in their lives, I decided I wanted to create a life balance journal. So <clears throat> I started out with this kind of prototype. I just I sketched this out and I created, I, I just put like week of, you know, and a place for, to write what week it was and then a little space for wellness, um, family and relationships, personal growth, career slash work, spirituality, social life, fun, See, I, I changed that one. I had started to have relationships here, and then I put it here. Um, fun and relaxation is what it should say. <laughs> and then finances. But you can see this was, I kind of kind of scrawled it down. Um, and I like the idea, but I didn't want, you know, two pages. I didn't want to take two pages because I want to do it every week. And so that's a lot of space. Um, so I tried to bump it down to something smaller. And I didn't really like the grids. <clears throat> so I got on my computer and I played with it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I came up with this layout. So on one regular sheet of paper, you can get two of them. So I've cut these in half. <clears throat> so I came up with this layout um, which e with each of those categories. And the idea is that every week, you would be able to write the, something down that you did to promote or help yourself in that category. So wellness, maybe over the course of the week, you walked you know, 10,000 steps, or maybe you exercised twice or something like that. You can put exercise twice, um, ate a salad for lunch three times this week, uh, you know, w went for a walk you know, at, in, at lunch or something like that. Um, so you might want to put that down spirituality. It could be that you spent time, uh, praying, you spent time, uh, at, at church or synagogue, uh, or mosque or, you know, wherever you choose to worship. Um, maybe you did something else. Maybe you read, um, a, a spiritual book. Maybe you, you watched, um, you know, a, a video, uh, about spirituality, something getting in touch with your your inner self, you know, any of those things, whatever it is that you would consider, you know, spiritual, maybe you did any of those, but you would write something down that you did this week. And then the same thing, what did you do to engage with your family, the people that are, that are in your life that you love, your relationships this week? Did you play catch with your, with your um, child in the backyard? Did you um, do a jigsaw puzzle with the family on Saturday afternoon, you know, um, social life. What did you do with your friends? 
you know what and we all need we all need social things you know did you did you call a friend you haven't talked to in a long time maybe that goes there um, personal growth what did you do to promote your own your own mental um, growth you know did you did you read a book did you watch a documentary did you research something online um, you know did you go to a lecture something like that uh, what did you do for some fun this week um, what did you do in your job or career um, not just like went to work or whatever but you know what did you do this week that helped promote that move that along you know um, pitched in on an extra project this week uh, you know helped uh, a coworker. Um, you know something like that and then what did you do financially did you put some money in savings did you um, start did you start thinking about retirement did you you know did you check on your stocks I mean what I don't know whatever it is you did right so my thought is that um, I, I had done I done I, I had done some research online about different categories and and things and how to you know set up maybe a journal like this and these were the ones that kept coming up um, and I thought it was really interesting and I'm thinking I'll probably make one for myself uh, as well you know to, to kind of track what do what do I do every week that helps me in, in these ways that helps balance you know my my time here in the world so I looked at this and I and I liked it um, but I thought this box was really big and I didn't want the person who was getting it to have to fill it in and I'm giving him for Christmas gifts so it can just start in in January so I'll show you the ones I end up ended up with so these are printed I have I have printed and then I have cut them down a little bit so you can see I made that box a lot smaller and I put uh, the dates starting in January so a week at a time and I cut these down um, once I cut it in half it's about you know so it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper so when you cut it in half this way it's five and a half so um, it's five and a half inches this way and it's about seven this way so I, I felt like that was a good size um, because it's small enough to fit easily into a journal or book. So that's my idea. So there are 52 um, and I went through and dated each one. So it's 26 sheets of paper that I printed and cut apart. Uh, and so I have other paper. Um, this, this happens to be the one I'm starting with. And I have some ideas for the bases. So I think each person will get a different book or base or something that it goes in and then of course that will get some decoration but it's not going to get a ton of decoration because this is going to be most of it so if if you know somebody who likes to travel maybe picking up um, some travel brochures of places they'd like to go or the way they like to travel my husband loves to to cruise uh, so we always have some of these <clears throat> so this is uh, long enough to do half the year um, so I was thinking you know I couldn't I could just get two of them if I wanted to uh, they're just held together by a staple because it's just a it's a mailer it's just a brochure or mailer so I could take the staples out and I could um, you know restaple if I wanted to use another set and I wanted to staple it or I could um, use this as a signature and put it into a cover um, or I could uh, do some holes I could take the staples out and cut the pages apart and do like rings for a binder I could do that um, or if you have like a comb binder or one of those that does the wire the spiral notebook wire binding that would be good but you can see this size would fit <coughs> really well on the pages so I would either center it or maybe move it down towards the bottom so that I could do some decoration. So there would be a little bit of decoration. Like if I put it in the middle, you know, I might put some washi tape on the edges and then, um, you know, some stickers here and some stickers here, uh, something like that um, for each, you know, that, that go with the theme maybe. Um, I, might, I might cover it, I might do a thin layer of gesso something like that and then put this on it and then just put put a few you know stickers around it so you know and, and if you don't want the text then cover cover the text 
if you want different pictures, you know, just treat it like a junk journal page and put some gesso on it. Um, you could you could move it down here. You could do a little gesso here. You could put a focal point image on each page. Um, you know, so I think there's lots of things. So a travel brochure I think would be a good one. A composition book, which is very inexpensive, would be good. So this has 100 sheets of paper in it. You only need 52 for um, the year. So you could glue, you could glue some together, um, you know, if you wanted them to be thicker. And, uh, you know, maybe this one or two here and there, you wouldn't maybe glue. Um, and then that would take up most of it and leave you lots of space. You wouldn't even have to necessarily uh, do a whole lot. You know, like you wouldn't have to necessarily have to gesso it out. You could, you could leave some space here to write in if somebody wanted to write something else. You could put stickers, you could put a theme if somebody liked flowers or gardening, or if you wanted to do, um, it would be really easy to do uh, seasonally, like in January, you know, you could put snow for all the, the January pages. Um, you know, February, you could do Valentine's Day, March, you could do St. Patrick's Day stuff. And, you know, so if you wanted to do each month, you could do like a monthly decoration on each of those if somebody if you think somebody would like that these are very expensive about a buck um, and they some of them come in smaller sizes so you might even be able to find a smaller one that would fit you know just there so you really wouldn't even have to if you didn't want to decorate it um, you wouldn't even have to really do much to it at all so you know because you've made that uh, you could use loose paper so this is a piece of music paper that I just cut. I, I cut it down so that it was a little smaller, so it was closer to the size of the, the uh, pages I made. And I left the margin over here because these I would probably um, bind with a comb binding or, or maybe rings, a ring binding. Um, if you wanted to put them on cardstock, you could, or you could simply glue one on each page this way and decorate the back with like a focal image. So, you know, you see this here when you turn it over, you would have one here and then you could do a focal image here and then you could have one here to write on. So it, you know, wouldn't be overly decorated, but it would still have a definitively personal touch. You could do this any book page. Um, if you know somebody who loves to garden, you know, get one of the big garden books that has all the pictures in it. That would be really fun, I think. Um, one of the ones that I'm going to use for sure is, is this uh, set. It's part of a junior encyclopedia set. And I just love this one. This one's going to one of my, one of my teacher friends. I have lots of teacher friends. Um, and so this is Britannica Junior. And so I have figured out that I can pull out every other page from the book. So I'm gonna be removing every other page. And so basically what will happen is I will put uh, the, the pages here on this side and I will leave this side to decorate. Although I do think I'm probably going to add a little bit of watercolor or something, um, stenciling something to kind of set that off so that, so that this pops off the page because it is close to the same color, that beigey. But it'll probably just be like color on this side, maybe a stencil, maybe just watercolor. Uh, and then over here will probably be a focal image of some kind, some, or maybe a cluster, maybe a tag that I'm gonna glue down. You know, I might, I might have some tags, that kind of stuff. But something very thin because I don't want it to be super thick. Um, there are enough pages in this book that I can, at the beginning of each month, put in something that says, you know, February and do a page that maybe says February and make it fancy and put a tab on it and then put the February ones in, that kind of stuff. So um, I'm going to start with, with an altered book because I really like the feel of this paper and I really like this book. Um, the front has a little bit of embossing, but not a lot. I, the back is very plain. I'm probably just going to leave the spine um, and then I'll probably put something on the front uh, as, as a decoration of some kind and maybe, maybe a title. Uh, and then on the inside cover, I'm probably going to write something to uh, paste in there to tell uh, my friends who get it how to, how to use the book, what it is, what it's for. Um, so I do plan on making several of these. 
<clears throat> and I did want something that was individual, but that I could make um, multiple of between now and Christmas. So this is kind of what I'm settling on. So I'm gonna do the first one um, out of the book, uh, and then I'll probably do one for sure out of the music paper, and then probably a composition book as well. <clears throat> and I'm not sure, I haven't decided yet how many I want to make. Um, probably though at least, at least three to five to give to different people. Um, because I, like I said, I do want something that's individual, but I need something that I can make that is, um, you know, partially pre-done. So that would be like this, this kind of thing. Okay, so I'm gonna take some pages out of this and start putting some of these in, uh, and I will be back to show you how that looks in progress. Um, so I'm gonna take every other page out on this one. So every second page is gonna come out. And these are, these are fairly thick, so I don't think I have to glue them together as, as long as as long as they're pretty neat when I take them out. And I think I think it will be. I think the way this one's put together, I can get those pages out without uh, you know too much, too much stuff there that I wouldn't want to see. So I'll be back to show you how this looks uh, in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. I have taken out every other page. Um, so I've got a much less bulky book at this point. You can see um, these are all the pages this is everything that came out. So I've quite a few pages there that I can um, cut up and use for other things. And so my plan now uh, is to go through and uh, put some, just some background colors uh, in. I have also gone through with just a, a little strip of uh, sticky note and identified all of the pages. So each page has what's going on that page. So this is the January um, kind of month intro. So that means I'll probably put a, a big focal point, some flowers or something uh, here. And then each page has, you know, the January and the dates on it. Uh, so my plan again is to uh, put some background colors in and then put uh, the the tracker on this page and then do something over here, a focal point, um, you know, something that a, a cluster of some kind lays, I'm not really sure what, um, but each one will, you know, get a different thing. So I've, I've kind of uh, gone through and decided that I'm going to use um, some specific colors for each month uh, just to kind of give it some continuity so that it kind of moves through the book so on January, I'm gonna use kind of a light blue, um, maybe some silver mixed in. In February, I'm gonna to go to pinks and I might mix some of that same silver in. March will be like light green. April's gonna be kind of yellow and a, and a darker green. May will be even a little bit darker green and some like a medium blue. June will be um, kind of oceany greens. Um, maybe maybe oceany blues kind of green and blue so may and june may kind of go together because i'm not really sure um you know those are both kind of summery bright sort of sort of months july i am going to do blue and red august i'm going to carry that red in and add some yellow in september i'm going to have like yellow and orange october i'm going to have kind of orange and brown um maybe maybe a bronze November will be brown and gold, and then December will be gold and silver. So um, that kind of, to me, just carries through the months. Not really sure what's going on this first page yet. I'm, I'm pretty sure it will be how to use this journal something. So I'm going to write something here. I, I'm just not sure if I'm going to put a background on there first. Uh, and then, of course, I'll write something over here to my friend. Um, so I'm just going to just gonna kinda get started here. I have some Pearl Essent watercolors um, that I picked up. These came from a discount store that came from Ross. Um, I think I paid like $5 for them. They're kinda cool looking. And then I have these metallic accent ones uh, that have some really colors as well. So I'll be using the pearl and metallics um, just cause I really like that shiny, you know, that shiny sheen to it. Um, so uh, let's see, January, we're gonna start with blue. And I wanna kinda start with a, a pale blue. 
And I just, I have a big brush because I am not doing anything but just kind of, you know, swatching color across. It's just, my goal is to just put something down so that there is some sort of background on the page to, uh, you know, to give me something to work with. So I don't even care if it's all, you know, the same color. I've got my uh, heat tool over here that I can use to kind of dry the pages as we go. Um, not getting them very wet. I probably should put a paper or something under it just to, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll put a book page underneath just to kind of protect the one underneath it. So I, you know, I'm just gonna kind of slop some paint on here and I'm gonna do this all the way through the book. So um, I will probably just turn off the camera here in a second and then uh, turn it back on and show you when I'm, when I'm done because you guys don't need to watch me, you know, slop paint. <laughs> to every page, <laughs> which is all I'm going to do. I mean, literally. So some of the pages will have more than one color and some of the pages will be just one color, but I really like this metallic. I just, like I said, I just want to create something. I just want to put some color, something down to, uh, you know, make the pages stand out and to give, uh, you know, some sort of background to work from. So I will be back to show you this when I'm done with this part. See you in a few. Okay, I'm back. Um, it has actually been a couple of days because it was over the weekend and I kind of worked on it here and there. Um, but I have painted all of the pages and splattered them all with some gold. Um, so I've started I decided that painting it was a, was a little dull and about halfway through I started splattering, so then I had to go back and do the first half. <laughs> but I really like it um, splattered with the gold paint. I think that's that's nice and I like the pearlescent metallic paints behind it. it. Gives it a nice sheen. I mean, I want it to look like a book page, but I don't want it to be um, so distracting that you're gonna try to start reading the page very much. I mean, if you wanna look at it, I guess you could. But, you know, you can still read it if you wanted to, but it's not, it's not something that's really going to draw your attention by the time everything's in there. So, I have done all of those pages, and, and I kind of did them in different colors. I can kind of flip this way, you can see, just depending on the time of year. And I'm crafting with cats today, every day, but today my cat has up here deciding, trying to decide whether or not to be obnoxious. So... I don't know if you can see, because I've painted them all different colors, I, on one hand, I really like that it's kind of rainbow mermaid looking. On the other hand, um, I don't know that I want to see the colors on the edge. So what I thought I would do is I thought I would paint the edges of the pages with a gold paint pen. Um, so. I just need them to stay together really tightly so that I can kind of paint those together. So if I have to put some clips on and then take it off, you know, as I get get to the edge of something. Um, and another reason is the paint, you know, goes up here, but when you get to this very corner up here, there's, you know, there's no color. And so I'm gonna squeeze that together too. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then the next step will be to um, put the put the little pages in, which I have set somewhere. Oh, I think my cat's sitting on them right now. Um, put in the pages with the tracker, and then uh, decorate. Now this has actually taken a little bit longer than I had kind of hoped it would. Um, <laughs> because as I said, I, I want to make several of these. Okay, now the gold paint pen doesn't want to work. I'm trying to get it to pump and it's stuck. Okay. Um, maybe not. Let me see if I've got, maybe I have a gold Sharpie. <laughs> oh. 
the tip of my paint pen. I was gonna pump it and the tip, I'll show you, the tip went in and, and it's not coming back out. <laughs> so I can, I'm gonna try to pull it out with some pliers, but uh, yeah, right now that's, that's not gonna work, I don't think. So let's see. I had some metallic Sharpies. Here's a silver one. Oh, 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 there's a gold one. Let's see, do I have a bronze in there? There's kind of a copper. Buffalo. Okay. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see how those look. So, the copper's kind of nice. Oh, the gold one's about dead, so it's a good thing we checked it. Oh, the silver one's very nice. Let's see, silver, copper. I think I'm gonna try the silver. Um, I don't even know what I was saying. <laughs> oh, it this took a little bit longer than I had anticipated it taking um, because I painted, you know, every page. And so I'm thinking on. Uh, the next, the next one I make, I probably won't do an altered book because if I if I want to, you know, paint pages before I put it together, that would probably go a lot faster. So my my thought is the next one will probably be um, out of music paper. And I might, um, I might use the uh, wax technique to make the music paper interesting. I'm gonna just mark that. Oh well, probably gonna cover that up anyway. Um, I'm pr I'm thinking about using that wax technique that I did a week ago, two weeks ago now, maybe a couple weeks. Um, to make the pages interesting without necessarily having to paint them all. And also, if I use some large pieces of uh, sheet music, then I will be able to, you know, cut those in half maybe to make the book. So I'm thinking that that's, that's what I will do because I think that's gonna save me some time in the long run because I'll be able to do more of the pages at once um, because on these I had to paint the pages and then I had to dry every one of them um, before I could turn the page and move on so because it was in a book um, so that that kind of slowed me down a little bit uh, it wasn't that the painting took very long but having to stop and, and dry every page took some time so that's my uh, my thought is I will I will try that and and maybe um, create a cover using a book and I could I mean I could fold the pages and and make a, a journal but I really want them to lay flat so I am thinking that I'll probably go ahead and cut them and then use a ring binding. Um, or, uh, maybe I'll get out my, uh, maybe I'll get out my, I can't think of what it's called. It's a, it's a comb binding machine, um, that I have had for many, many years. Um, I used to make more notebook kinds of things. And, uh. I bought that machine to bind them. Uh, and I used to sell those at craft fairs, so. Okay. All right, that looks kind of nice with the silver. Oh, I was talking about, see, I keep, I keep thinking about, it's like I'm watching this and not talking to you guys. <laughs> Oh, it's like drawing. It's like I can't talk and draw. Apparently, I can't talk and color. I, I don't know. Maybe I can't talk and do anything at the same time. It's, it's hard to know. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so I was thinking about the images. Um, and then another advantage of uh, using different colors, of using a color theme maybe, will be that I can find images for each month that kind of go with that month and, and kind of have that color theme going on. And right now I have um, my focal point images sorted by color. So every every year or two, I kind of I kind of redo them. I, I swap between theme and color, and I just can't ever decide which one I like better. And so I have them by theme for a year, maybe two, and then I get tired of it that way, and I resort them all and swap them into color bins, and then I have them that way for a year, maybe two, and then I swap them back into theme. Um, and it helps me too to remember, you know, I, I, as I'm resorting, I find things that I've forgotten I had and, you know, so that's always good. And, and every year I tend to, uh, clean out all of my, my bins materials and, and I don't mean like I clean stuff out and throw it all away. Um, but I clean it out and reorganize it. I make sure it's in the right place or I organize it like if, like if I have right now I have my color and I, I really need to take the color bins and have like small, medium, and large images so that it's easier to find the size I'm looking for. If I'm looking for something small then I, can, then I don't have to sift through everything to get there. So, you know, that kind of stuff is, is what I do um, with, my, with my bins. And I do that, I usually do that um, the first week of January. That's kind of my, my you know, cleaning, you know, um, New Year's resolution sort of thing is, is to reorganize and take stock and, and see what I have. Um, because I forget, I, I forget what I have um, and because I have a lot of stuff. And sometimes if I have, if I find that I just have way too much of something, then I, I you know, give it to a friend and, you know, that kind of stuff so that, so that I don't end up keeping, you know, hoarding things that I, I should be sharing. Okay, so that's just kind of my philosophy on that. All right, so each month is gonna have something um, on it for the beginning of the month. So I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna look like. I don't know if it's gonna look like um, a poem printed. You know, if I, can, if I can find something for each month that is about that month and then like I can put a big you know, January or the big, a large size month and then the poem and then an image over here. And I'm thinking maybe over on these images, maybe the monthly ones um, might be something I've drawn that I can put in. Um, and then the days, of course, uh, will go in, you know, so let me show you. Oh. So this one got a little wet, it's a little wrinkled, but so I need to flatten it out. So they'll just they'll just get glued in here and then there'll be an image over here. So each one, that's what will happen. So I've got that one labeled. So it'll be here and here. And then, um, so those are, that's the next step is for those to go in so that I know I have everything where it needs to be um, before I start putting in images. So I will be back and show you that step once it's done. So see you in a few. Okay, I have um, put in all of the, so I've left the, the months blank. I haven't, uh, I haven't put those in yet, but I have all of the, the tracker pages in, and then I've got one empty page for each month in between. So I just need to, oops, a little bit of sticky there. I just need to um, decide what's gonna go on those monthly pages and um, then you know what's going to go over here for each of the weekly pages and I think I am leaning very much towards uh, pulling up something with uh, color by the by color um, so you can see how that's you can see how that's going to look uh, I am going to back up and probably print something on my computer on how to use this book Put it here maybe write a personal note you know maybe I'll put it on the cover and write a personal note here but these two pages are gonna have a note to my friend and then something about how to use the book but so for example like the blue one 
I have um, some images like this that would be beautiful for January. It's too big. It would need to be, you know, cut down. But it could be, you know, very lovely, I think, um, for a January page. You know, maybe I could do that and then just write January um, hand letter the name of the month at the top. I think that's probably what's going to happen. So I will I will be doing that. Um, and maybe, maybe I'll do a video where we do each of those months, like January, February, uh, or a couple of them anyway. Uh, and then I will do a separate video, of course, on the cover. I'm not sure what we're gonna do to the cover yet. I'm still contemplating that. Um, but that will probably be the next video. I'm thinking I want to do the cover next and then go through and put the put the um, pages in for each of the months and, and weeks. So I think I think I will leave it here for now and then I will do at least one more video, maybe two, um, depending on kind of how much time it takes me. Um, maybe we'll do a video doing the cover or maybe I'll do the cover and and the decor you know and then put the images in and then just show you what that looks like um i'm not really sure yet how that's going to go but if you like this idea i hope you will maybe try it out this one is as i said the very first one and i do plan to make several so i think i've learned a few things along the way i think next time i probably won't use um, a book and do an altered book. I think I will probably uh, build the pages and, and put them in some kind of binding from scratch <clears throat> because I think that will be much faster because I can do all the pages at once and, you know, I can tea dye them or coffee dye them or, or you know, spray them with, with uh, paint or something um, and, and use dyed pages. That will be a, a good deal quicker probably than painting all of these. Um, so I have learned that. Um, so I think, you know, this is kind of a, a learning process uh, and I will, I will keep learning and I will keep you updated because I think this is really still going to make a great gift. I'm excited to make it for my friend. I think my friend is going to like it. I think the several friends that I think I'm going to give it to, um, I think I'm actually going to make it four of them. I was kind of thinking in my head how many I wanted. Um, I think they will enjoy them. So uh, I hope you'll, you know, come back next time to see what else happens with it. Until then, uh, please give me a like if you, you know, give me a thumbs up, um, a like, or leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this idea. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it and maybe on how to streamline the process, uh, simplify the process. If you have some ideas on how to do that, I am I'm certainly open to your ideas um, because, Heaven knows I don't know it all. I'm just kind of figuring it out as I go. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining me. Until next time, remember, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.